When I think about South Carolina quarterbacks over the years, Steven Garcia, Dylan Thompson, Connor Shaw, and most recently Jake Bentley come to mind. But over the last few years, the quarterback position hasn't exactly been elite, and South Carolina has been looking for a guy who can finally take them to the next level. And I think Shane Beamer finally got his first big time quarterback commit, and he could be a game changer for the program. I will be the first one to admit that I am skeptical of the Shane Beamer hire, but he just landed Braden Davis, who's the number five dual threat quarterback in the country and a top 200 player in the class of 2022. From the looks of it, Davis will be the first big quarterback of the Beamer era, and Luke Doty better watch out because he'll be coming for his job in the next few seasons. So yeah, today we're going to talk about Braden Davis, his commitment to the South Carolina program, and what this means for the Gamecocks and what South Carolina fans can expect from him. But first, if you love quality, consistent college football content, be sure to hit that subscribe button as you definitely won't want to miss out on what we're doing here on YouTube. If you want to support what I'm doing, please be sure to take a moment and hit that like button and leave a comment as it really helps the video get in the algorithm so more college football fans can see it. Also, don't forget to turn on post notifications. And now let's get started and talk about Braden Davis. Over the past few years, South Carolina has struggled with the quarterback play as Jake Bentley was good, but he wasn't elite. After that, they had Ryan Holinsky, and he showed flash, but he would struggle to stay healthy and would eventually transfer to Northwestern. Last year, they had Colin Hill, and he was definitely a good college quarterback, but him alone was not going to help South Carolina win a ton more games. They needed a guy who was elite. Fortunately, they've gotten a lot of big-time quarterback recruits over the last few years. They just all didn't pan out. Brandon McElwain was a four-star player before he transferred to California. Once he, as I said earlier, was a four-star player who transferred to Northwestern. Gunnar Stockton was a five-star who committed there, but has since flipped to Georgia. Then the other guy that we have to talk about is Luke Doty. Doty was one of the best quarterbacks in the 2020 class, and personally, outside of Holinsky, I thought Doty should have been the starter last year. After the spring game, Shane Beamer named Doty the starting quarterback for the 2021 season, and the quarterback room is very bare for the South Carolina Gamecocks right now, so Doty should have some slack to work with, and I hope he has a big season. But for now, we're going to talk about the guy who's coming after it, and that's Braden Davis. I'm a little late to this, but Braden Davis committed to the Gamecocks over the likes of Cincinnati, Duke, Georgia Tech, NC State, Stanford, and West Virginia. Obviously, we didn't hear any Blue Bloods in there, but those are all very respectable schools, and he was wanted by a lot of programs. He's from Middletown, Delaware, and Delaware is not the first state you think of when it comes to producing big-time quarterbacks, but he's a top 200 guy and the number five dual threat quarterback in the country. When he committed to South Carolina, he said, quote, Obviously, everything about South Carolina was top of the game. They kind of just took me through everything they had to offer, from academics to nutrition to strength, football, and campus life, and stuff like that. I got to ask a lot of questions that I might have had, and really just checked a lot of boxes that I was looking for. Official visits were not allowed, but Davis and his family would actually take a self-guided tour, and that's how they saw it. He said, quote, It was awesome. I got to see really everything I wanted to see, obviously from the outside. I got to see where the football facility is located. I got to see the crazy football stadium that South Carolina has. I got to see where I'll be doing a lot of my classes, my freshman classes, a lot of engineering classes that I'm looking forward to taking. I got to see the riverfront and the five points and stuff like that. Everything was really neat. So yeah, this is a big time commitment and the six foot five, 195 pound commit is not only a high upside player, but he will now be the leader and the figurehead of Shane Beamer's first real recruiting class at South Carolina. They're likely gonna try to build around it and I would not be surprised if Davis goes out and tries to get some of his friends or top uncommitted prospects in the area. So yeah, Davis is pretty high on what Shane Beamer is doing at South Carolina, but what do scouts have to say about Davis' game? Here's what rivals have to say. Quote, Davis has all the physical tools a college coach looks for and has put up some solid numbers during his high school career. He's coming off a leg injury, but doesn't seem to be hampered any longer. Look for Davis to really work on his sense of timing while he is picking up the offense. Davis does a nice job of pushing the ball down the field too. South Carolina's connections to Davis and his home state really helped them land the lock in this commitment. In terms of the connections, he's just had a really close relationship with the coaching staff over the past few years, and they already have two Delaware guys on the roster, so it was sort of a natural fit for Davis. So yeah, as of right now, Luke Doty is the future of the South Carolina football program, and I'm really curious to see how he's going to do this fall, but if we look towards 2023 and 2024, I do believe Braden Davis will be fighting for that starting position, and unless he flips somewhere else, he could be that quarterback that South Carolina football fans have been looking for for years now. What do you guys think, though? If you're a South Carolina fan, what do you think of Braden Davis? What do you think of the job Shane Beamer has done so far? And how many games do you think you guys will win in 2021? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Suggest another topic I could take a look at next. Be sure to hit that like button if you want to support today's video. And check out all my other recruiting videos, including my video about Sam Horn, a four-star quarterback who committed to Missouri. Hope to see you guys again soon, but until next time, peace.